We do it. What is that outfit? I'm an elf from the winter wonderland of Santa's workshop. Today on Creatives Chat, we'll be going over how to make your photos extra wintry and wonder-like for the holidays. So, Allie, as you know, it's the holidays. Yay! That means holiday photos, making, you know, cosplays that are holiday related. Um, and we've done a bunch of cosplay holiday photo shoots before. We have. Yeah. And you've done them with other people, too. You know what else this time of year is? Mm. The time I get to wear this sweater. You look adorable. Hi, rosy cheeks. So what Let's are go. some tips for whenever people are trying to make their, you know, photos more wonder-like? Okay, so here we go. First thing, you may want to make believe you're in snow, but you don't have any snow. Right, because you live in Florida. Or Virginia and it didn't snow yet. Or Florida. Or Alaska and it didn't snow yet. Or Florida. Or wherever, but there's no freaking snow. No snow. There's no snow. <laughs> Or you have whiny people and they don't want to go outside. Right. So you need a fake snow. What we're doing here is we have this faux fur. Ooh, it's so soft. It's soft. And believe it or not, this big ass white faux fur makes the best fake snow. I have actually used it, I'll try to find the image, years ago for a Christmas card. Nice. I had two people sit on it between their two Mini Coopers mm. and we created a winter wonderland and I just stamped and cloned the rest of that out, the, the faux fur out. Made, it makes awesome snow. Awesome. Okay. I mean, one of the tips that I always give people is lights. Yes. I really like using lights in all of our holiday stuff. Like we right. did a holiday shoot last year with our friend Corinne. Mm -hmm. She was like a winter goddess. goddess. Yule goddess. Right, yeah, yeah, Yule goddess. And she looked absolutely beautiful. Um, and we used lights for that. Right. So. so what we did in that shoot, we layered the lights. We did. We there did. were lights behind her, there were lights in, in front, front of her. And I like Christmas lights. And right now, actually, with where we're filming, these Christmas lights aren't really going to show up well. Right. To use, these are a low, low light. And I also have these lights that I found at Home Depot. The best time to buy your lights is right after Christmas. And they're on sale. on sale. Yeah. Yeah. So I put these in the background because they'll make those big, beautiful bokeh lights. Oh God. Yes. And then I'll put these in the foreground. Right. And then sometimes I'll get fairy lights and we can pull the fairy lights in the you foreground. You like hair too, mm -hmm. which is really nice. One of the tricks mm. to making the lights work is don't try to light your model solely with those lights because right. you it's very hard to control the lighting well, pattern. Because it, they're such low lights. Right. So, so we, what do we do? The eyes light. light. Or some form of continuous light. LED lights are low. Right. They'll balance with your lights, your your little lights. Sure. And they won't take over. And then you can get that Christmas Wonderland look. Right. Don't use strobes because they tend to take over and you don't see the bokeh right. anymore. And it's the same thing. Like if like we did that uh, reindeer shoot. Oh yeah. We, and that was a lot of fun. Yes. And we literally used reindeer that Allie puts in her yard outside. Right. Like that's what we used. And I made myself into a cute little reindeer. Right. Um, I but use my modeling you use the lights. modeling light I use for the that. modeling lights to layer. Right. Exactly. And um, I just wanted to show this as another fun little trick is these guys. Now, the problem with this. They're so stabby. It's very stabby. Ow, 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 ow. But, but look how. still stabbing it, It's probably. stabbing, but it, you hold it by this, it's very pretty. So, it's pretty. I mean, yes. It's pretty. Right. And it's the same thing like if it's a Christmas tree or something that you want to put in the background. Thank you for reminding me, Sierra. 
because not only can you use your Christmas tree, right? but at least in this area, most garden centers are super friendly. Yes. So ask your local garden center. They'll have Christmas trees set up everywhere. Right, right. And like, if, for example, if you do want to shoot outside, I mean, some of the tips for cosplayers that I always have is make sure you bring, and I'm really bad about this notoriously, make sure you bring your heat hands um, and take breaks because the photographer is gonna need breaks too because a lot of the time they can't shoot with their gloves on. So they're just using their bare hands and it's probably cold outside if it is, if you don't live in Florida. So. And if you shoot at the garden center, mm -hmm. you can go inside a lot. Right. Last year I brought my ice light and that was it to the local garden center with my friend's children. Oh, that's so nice. And we got beautiful images of, yeah. the, of the little girls with you, the book. Right, and it's not like you have to pay a lot to go into those garden centers, yeah. if at all. I didn't have to pay anything. Right. They actually like it because I always well, feel like guilty. Free advertisement. Right. And I buy stuff. Yeah. I buy a ton of stuff. And right. I'll show some of the bokeh. I just shot some bokeh there while I was yeah. there. I use it for compositing. Yeah. But really, to get a winter wonderland look, you want to look work with these little continuous lights, fairy right. lights, Christmas lights. Fabrics. I prefer the ones with white cord versus the black cord whenever possible, or the green cord, sure. because easier to hide. Fabric. Fabric. And you probably, if you're going to composite or if you're going to do Photoshop, you want to go with cool tones. Right. Because that's, that's the way snow is. Right. And use low light. Yes. So you don't blow it out. So we hope you've enjoyed this episode of Creatives Chat. We hope you enjoy your holidays. And see you next time. Monday at 3 o'clock. You think that was good? Did we ramble too much? We're some rambling bitches, but that's fine. You gotta get over more. Too close to you? I mean, we're pretty close to one another. Fine. I don't bite. Is this better?